हेलो नॉलेज सीकर्स दिस इज शो मैन फ्रॉम ऑयल एंड गैस फील्ड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल टुडे वी विल हैव अ वेरी स्मॉल वीडियो वेर वी विल सी दिस आसमी कोड्स फॉर प्रेशर बेसल्स एंड प्रेशर पाइपिंग ईच आसमी कोड एक्चुअली कंसिस्ट ऑफ डिजाइन मेथड्स डिजाइन लोड्स अलावेबल स्ट्रेस एक्सेप्टेबल मेटेरियल्स फैब्रिकेशन testing and certification and finally the inspection requirements so it is basically design codes along with some inspection requirements the asmi international boiler and pressure vessel code is made of 12 section actually and it contains over 15 divisions and sub sections section 1 is power boilers section 2 are materials Section three is the rules for construction of nuclear facility and components. Section four, heating boilers. Ask me. Section five is for non-destructive examination. Section six, recommended rules for care and operation of heating boilers. Section seven, recommended guidelines for care of power boilers. Section eight for pressure vessels. section 9 for welding and brazing qualifications which are extensively used for welder qualification specifically for refineries and pipings also for pipelines section 10 for fiber reinforced plastic pressure vessels section 11 rules in service inspection of nuclear power plant components ask me section 12 finally is for the rules for construction and continued service of transport tanks section 1 is for power boilers the section provides requirements for all methods of construction of power electric and miniature boilers high temperature water boilers used in stationary service and power boilers used in locomotive portable and traction service section 2 is for the materials it has four parts part a is for ferrous material specification part b for non ferrous material specification part c is for the welding consumables for welding rods electrodes filler metals part d is for the properties ask me section 3 is the rule for construction of nuclear facility components includes nv nuclear safety and pressure relief valves part a ferrous material part b non ferrous part d is properties the subsection contains appendices both mandatory and non mandatory for section 3 the division 1 includes the subsection nca through nh and as described below so section 3 has division 1 2 and 3 division 1 is for class 1 components division 1 subsection nc class 2 component nd class 3 ne class mc components nf are the supports ng is core supports of structures nh is equal to class 1 components in elevated temperature service there are division 2 code for concrete containments division 3 is containments for transportation and storage ASPI section 4 is for heating boilers requirement for design fabrication installation and inspection of steam generation boilers and hot water boilers intended for low pressure service that are directly fired by oil gas electricity or coal it contains appendices which cover approval of new material methods of checking safety valve safety relief valve capacity definitions relating to boiler design and welding and the quality control system aspi section 5 is also very popular because non destructive testing all the requirements we have to follow from here so requirements and methods of non destructive testing which are referenced and required by other code section it also includes manufacturer examination responsibilities duties of authorized inspection and requirement of qualification personnel inspection and examination in which field aspi section 5 is getting used visual testing hardness testing micro hardness testing magnetic particle liquid particle ultrasonic radiography testing eddy current testing and more 
Section 6 for ASME recommended rules for care and operation of heating boilers. It defines general description, terminology, guidelines applicable to steel and cast iron boilers limited to operating ranges of section 4 heating boilers. It includes guidelines for associated controls and automatic fuel burning equipment. Section 7 ASME is recommended guidelines for the care of power boilers. Guidelines for to promote safety in the use of stationary portable and traction type heating contains fuels of routine operation, operating and maintenance boiler appliances, inspection and prevention of boiler failure, design of installation, operation of boiler auxiliaries, control of internal chemical conditions. Section 8 is for the pressure vessels. This is extensively used for the power uh, plants. All the boilers are made with these standards. Division 1, Section 8 provides requirements applicable for the design, fabrication, inspection, testing and certification of pressure vessels operating at either internal or external pressures exceeding 15 psi. Division 2 is alternating rules provide requirements to the design, fabrication, inspection, testing and certification of pressure vessels operating at either internal or external pressures exceeding 15 psi. Division 3 alternative rules for construction of high pressure vessels provides requirement applicable to the design, fabrication, inspection, testing and certification of pressure vessels operating at either internal or external pressures generally above 10,000 psi. ASPI section 9 this is very popular for welder qualification, preparing WPS, rules relating to the qualification of welding and bridging procedures as required by other code sections for component manufacture. Cover rules are related to the qualification and requalification of welders and welding and bridging operations in order that they may perform welding or brazing as required by other code sections in the manufacture of components. Section 10, these are for fiber reinforced plastic pressure vessels. Requirements of construction of FRP, that means fiber reinforcement plastic pressure vessels in conformance with a manufacturer design report. It includes production, processing, fabrication, inspection and testing methods. Section 11 are the rules for in-service inspection of nuclear power plant components. Requirements for the examination, in-service testing and inspection and repair of replacement of components and systems in light water cooled and liquid metal cooled nuclear power plants. Section 12 are the rules for construction and continued service of transport tanks. Requirements of construction and continued service of pressure vessels to the transportation of dangerous goods via highway, rail, air or water at pressures from full vacuum to 3000 psig and volumes greater than 120 gallon. ASMI or ANSI B31 codes. ASME B31 was earlier known as ANSI B31. The B31 code for pressure piping cover power piping, fuel gas piping, process piping, pipeline transportation systems for liquid hydrocarbons and other liquids, refrigeration piping and heat transfer components and building services piping. Piping consists of piping, flanges, bolting, gaskets, valves, relief devices, fittings and the pressure containing parts of other piping components. It also includes hangers and supports and other equipment item necessary to prevent overstressing the pressure containing parts. It does not include support structure such as frames of buildings, stanchions and foundations. B31.1 is for power piping, required piping for industrial plants and marine applications and this uh, code prescribes requirement for the design, material, fabrication, erection, test and inspection of power and auxiliary service piping system for 
electric generation stations, industrial institutional plants, central and district heating plants. The coat covers boiler external piping for power boilers and high temperature, high pressure water boilers in which steam or vapor is generated at a pressure of more than 15 psi and high temperature water is generated at pressures exceeding 160 psi g and or temperature exceeding 250 degrees Fahrenheit. B31.2 it is fuel gas piping. This has been withdrawn as a national standard and replaced by ANSI NFPA Z223.1. But 31.2 is still available from ASMI and is a good reference for the design of gas piping system from the meter to the appliance, everything. B31.3, very popular. Most of the refineries and plants are designed with this code. Uh, you know this is for process piping. It is design of chemical and petroleum plants, refineries, hydrocarbon, water and steam. The code contains rules for piping typically found in petroleum refineries, chemical, pharmaceutical, textile, paper, semiconductor and cryogenic plants and related processing plants and terminals. It, pres it prescribes requirement for materials and components, design, fabrication, assembly, erection, examination, inspection and testing of piping all are covered also included in piping which interconnects pieces and stages within a packaged equipment assembly b31.4 and b31.8 you know these two are very familiar standard for us the pipeliners so b31.4 is pipeline transportation system for liquid hydrocarbons and other liquids this code uh, prescribes the requirement for the design material construction assembly inspection and testing of piping transporting liquids such as crude oil condensed natural gas liquids liquefied petroleum gas co2 liquid alcohol liquid anhydrous ammonia liquid petroleum products between producers lease facilities tank farms natural gas processing plants refineries stations ammonia plant terminal marine rail and truck and other delivery and receiving points. The requirement for offshore pipelines are found in Chapter 9. Also included within the scope of this code are primary and associated liquid petroleum and anhydrous ammonia. B31.8 is gas transmission and gas distribution piping system. This code covers the design, fabrication, installation, inspection and testing of pipeline facilities used for the transportation of gas. This code also covers safety aspects of the operation and maintenance of those facilities. B31.8S, it is managing system integrity of gas pipeline. It is a site standard in addition to B31.8. B31.9 is building services piping. This section has rules for piping in industrial, institutional, commercial and public buildings and multi-unit residences which does not require range of size, pressures and temperatures covered in B31.1. B31.11 is the Slurry transportation piping system. It is rule for design, construction, inspection and security requirements of slurry piping system. This code covers piping system that transport aqueous slurries and no hazardous material such as coal, mineral ores and other solids between a slurry processing plant and receiving plants. B31G manual for determining remaining strength of corroded pipelines. The scope of this manual includes all pipelines within the scope of pipeline codes that are part of ASME B31 point code for pressure piping. So that's all uh, my dear friends. Hope you uh, like the knowledge I am providing you with different aspects of construction industries if you like my channel please don't forget to share and subscribe my channel and hit the like button signing off for today showman